Hey everybody, this is John from OurHomeFromScratch.com. Today we're doing a post on how to figure out your fuel savings if you're interested in buying a diesel car versus a gasoline. You want to see if you want to calculate uh, if there'd be any savings by buying a diesel car versus the added price. Uh, Lisa and I this week just bought a, a brand new car and we ended up going with a Jetta. With a, it's a regular gas engine, but we were uh, leading towards getting a TDI for a, for a little while and then we kind of did the math so we're going to show you how to do that math on here it helped us figure it out if you don't know how to use Excel this is a great way to learn it I use this all the time at work because I'm an engineer and uh, it's, it's, it's a great tool so we'll start with uh, just opening it up hitting uh, selecting a new sheet and then um, I always label these so I know what I'm working on so let's say diesel versus gas okay so let's just say our typical gas price is gas cost and diesel cost. Uh, I think let's just ballpark these. It doesn't really matter. Let's say this is three dollars and eighty cents. Who knows what it is really around here? And then say four bucks for diesel, right? So now let's pick our cars. Let's do a regular Jetta SC and a TDI. Right, so then you're gonna have a city mileage, you're gonna have highway mileage. So you're I don't know what they are actually, but let's just say this one's 20 city and this one's 32 highway. I think it's close. TDI is going to be something like 24 and 42, or those you know those numbers may not be right either. So this is generally what you're looking at. You can put any car you want in here. You can put it. We can put a Jeep in here and a 15 and 20, and I can show you what that looks like. So during a typical work week, this is what I want to figure out: what, what my commute's going to look like and how much it's going to cost me. So it's going to be different for everyone depending upon your commute. So Monday, Tuesday, and then what I'll do is I'll select these two and I'll drag it down and it figures out what I'm doing. Uh, and I actually want to make some more room here, so I'll do that again. I'll hit Control X and then I'll select the cell and hit Control V. There we go. Okay, so every day we do uh, during my commute, I do certain portion of my is uh, my driving a city, a certain portion is highway. So to get an accurate picture of what you're, we're doing with the, this car or city highway, we got We can't just take the higher of the two and figure it out. We kind of have to break it down. So let's say, for instance, you drive 50 miles each day. Uh, we need to get to 50, right? So let's say five of that in the morning is, is city, and then the other 20 is highway. So if you do this twice a day, that's 10. And let's say this is 40, right? There's your 50 miles. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two, drag and pull this box down, it fills it in. Now, just so you know how to figure out what your total mileage is, you can say, let's sell, oh, sorry. So to do an equation, you select the box where you want it, let's just call this total. And over here, we're going to use an equal sign and say summation of sum parentheses. I'm going to drag this box and then parentheses again, and it adds up that entire column. Uh, it's, we can do that here, or else we can just drag this box over and it moves the equations over as well. So we can also add those up too. We can say total total weekly mileage, whatever, the mileage, I don't have to put mileage. <laughs> Let's do that, we'll make some space so it doesn't look sloppy. And we'll just say this is equal to the sum of these two. And we can select these two boxes across. So every week we drive 250 miles. Uh, now again, you can go in here and change these later. You can say, well, Wednesdays I don't work, and you can zero them out. Uh, or you can, oh, I, have to, I drive further that day, or whatever. So let's just stick with 10 and 40. Okay, now we're going to say diesel over here. And gas. Okay, now to figure out how many, how many gallons you'd use each day, we're going to do a basic math equation. So uh, it's miles over gallons is it basically uh, miles per gallon. So that's miles, just a little bit of milk, just so you know what that, that equation looks like. And then we're going to multiply, divide that by uh, uh, how many miles we drive. And we'll end up with a gallons over here. So diesel, uh, we're going to use these values. So we're going to say diesel equals city our city mileage every day divided by our miles per gallon. And we're going to add that to our highway divided by our highway mileage, MPG. Okay, so 
that's an ugly number so actually I'm going to select that and we're going to change that so it's a little cleaner we're gonna change the decimal places so we're just gonna go to number two decimal places hit OK OK that's much better so uh, same thing for gas so same equation equals 10 divided by, now we're going to use our gas mileage instead of TDI, we're going to hit this guy, add it to 40, and divide that also by our, our miles per gallon highway. Okay, so oh, like you tell, uh, you burn more gasoline driving 50 miles than you do diesel, 1.37, 1.75, so you can tell right there. So we're going to, I want to drag this down and copy that, but it's not going to work, you get errors, right? The reason is when you look at this equation, all these numbers are going to move as you pull them down, and we don't want these values here to move. So everywhere you see a G2 or 3 or an H3 or 2, we're going to put dollar signs there so they don't move. So before the G, I'll add a dollar sign. Uh, before the denominator, G3, before the G and before the 3, and then before the H and before the 3. And then I'll do that over here, on the gas side, before the G, 2, and before the H and the 2. Okay, so now these are going to be static, and I can grab this box and pull it down. Great, look, see, it doesn't, now it's, it's set. Okay, so let's add these up. Uh, this is going to be sum for your diesel. Again, same same function. Okay, let's pull this over. Okay, so in a week you can see this is what your how much gas you're burning in a week, how much diesel you're burning in a week. You're burning definitely burning more gas. Uh, let's see what you burn in a year. So this is total yearly. We should put this over here. It's a yearly, and this is going to be equal to your diesel in a week, that'll be times 52, that little star is your, your multiplication symbol. Okay, and again I'll pull this over here. So that's how much, how many gallons you burn in a year, diesel compared to gas. Okay, so what? Uh, let's figure out the cost of that. So this is just going to be equal to your diesel mileage in a year times your, your diesel cost. Uh, in terms of uh, price per gallon, right? Same thing for here. So uh, this one's got different numbers. So this will be equal to this 455 times our gas cost. Okay. Okay. So you can see there is a little difference, $300 a year, something like that. So let's say our our delta, well, that's uh, our yearly cost. Let's say over five years, right? So this would be. Actually, let's, I'm sorry, let's, let's just do our delta, our difference between these two first. This would be equal to our higher number minus our lower number, and that's how much a year you'd save if you bought a diesel car instead of the gas, just on fuel savings. So five years worth of savings would just be equal to this $300 times five. Then you can do this times 10 or times 12 or however long you think you're going to own the car, and that would that would also help make a decision. But if you're financing a car for five years, that's a good way to do it. Uh, so $1,500 is all your, your fuel savings would be if your gas prices are 380 and if this is your commute, and if this is the miles per gallon. So if gas prices change, let's say diesel goes up to $5 a gallon, that price is, oh, look, it goes in the hole. Uh, so let's say it goes down to $2 a gallon. Now you have uh, some significant savings. Um, we can compare this to my last Jeep. Let's say I had my uh, my Jeep Grand Cherokee it was a 15 mile city, 20 highway, and let's say diesel is actually four bucks, right? So six grand in five years would be my savings, which is substantial. Um, so let's actually fix this here too. This looks a little format cells, and we'll fix that there too. So this is um, the number we looked at. Let's take this back to 20 and 34. And this is where we kind of made the decision, okay, well, this isn't really saving as much. If, if this is diesel prices uh, and gas, and um, I think that the TDI may be three or $4,000 more than the gas engine. So just on fuel savings alone, you can see you're not really going to, you're not really going to save any money there. So um, 
but there are other advantages to a diesel engine. Obviously, you, you, it's a better it's a better engine. You're going to get more miles out of it. You can probably drive it three or four hundred thousand miles. Where a gas engine, you're probably going to want to turn it in after 150, 200 thousand miles. So, um, but it's a factor. So if you're ever wondering how to do this, um, this is a, a real, I guess, back of the envelope calculation here, how to figure this out. So. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you're uh, interested in seeing any more gigantic, nerdy waste of time, this is uh, what I like to do. So, uh, yeah, if you have any Excel questions or whatever, we're going to try to be doing more educational stuff with for homeowners. Uh, it includes car stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. But uh, that's it. Uh, talk to you guys later.